Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to do inverse interpolation on Casio FX 901 ES calculator very easily. So let's start. Our question is find the value of x for y equals to 8. It's called inverse interpolation because in Langlands interpolation we find the value of y for given value of x but here we are finding the value of x for given value of y that's why it's called inverse interpolation. And here is our question, for y equals to 4, x equals to 1, for y equals to 12, x equals to 3, and for y equals to 19, x equals to 4. So we have to find out what is the value of x for y equals to 8. This is our formula, this is just the inverse formula of the language interpolation formula. Don't be afraid by the formula, it's very easy. We subtract each value from y, y minus y1, y minus y2, y minus y3, and so on. This is called the first term. In first term, we will deal with x0 value and y0 value. So y minus y1, y minus y2, y minus y3 up to y minus yn that is last value of y. In the denominator, we will subtract everything from y0. So y0 minus y1, y0 minus y2, y0 minus y3. You see, in the numerator, we subtract everything y1, y2, y3 from y and in the denominator we subtract y1, y2, y3 from the y0 since we are dealing with y0 in the first term and it is multiplied by x0. Similarly you can say in the next term that is y1 term we will deal with x1 and y1 and we will subtract everything from y1. So y1 minus y0, y1 minus y2, y1 minus y3 and so on up to y1 minus yn and in the numerator we won't subtract y1 here we did not subtract y0 we started with y1 and here we'll start with y0 and we'll skip y1 see y minus y0 y minus y2 y1 is skipped and y1 of y3 and so on in the next term we will just skip y2 so we'll do y minus y0, y minus y1 and y minus y3 and so on up to y minus yn minus 1. And similarly below we'll do yn, this is the last term. If you consider this as y2 then y2 minus y0, y2 minus y1, y2 minus this will be y3 then because it's the last term. And now putting into the formula. I have rewritten the question here. The first value in x row is called x0. Next x1, x2 and so on. Similarly in y row the first term is y0 and next y1, y2 and so on. And y is 8 given. That means we have to find out value of x for y equals to 8. So we will just put the formula y minus y1. This is y1. We won't subtract y0 in the first term. So y minus y1 and y minus y2. And below we will subtract everything from y0. So y0 is 4. 4 minus y1 and 4 minus y2 into x0. x0 is 1. So in the next term y minus y0 this is 4 and y minus y2 this is 19 y1 will be skipped and in the denominator we will subtract everything from y1 so that is 12 12 minus y0 and 12 minus y2 into x1 this is 3 next y minus y0 that is 4 y minus y1 that is 12 divided by this is y2 term so we will subtract everything from y2 y2 is 19 so 19 minus 4 and 19 minus 12 into x2. So x2 is 4. And now I will show you how to perform the calculations on your calculator. So for that press the fraction button. Press the first bracket. 8 minus 12 into 8 minus 19. Press the joystick right to get down. 4 minus 12. 4 minus 19 
press the joystick right to get up into 1 and press equals to and press S2 D button to get the fraction form that is 0 0.3666 and so on that is 0 0.3666 we will take 4 decimal places plus the plus next term and the coolest part is for next term you don't have to enter it again you just use the existing expression just change the values by joystick right or left so 8 minus Eight minus nineteen is already there. Joystick down, and now twelve minus four. Use the del button to delete four, and twelve minus nineteen into three, and press equals to. Press S to D. That is two point three five seven one. That is. 2.3571 and for the final term 8 minus 4 8 minus 12 19 minus 4 19 minus 12 into 4 that is minus 0 0.6095 minus 0 0.6095 so adding all three values you will get 2.1142 and this is our record answer in some books they prefer this answering style f of 8 equals to 2.1142 isn't it very easy doing the calculations on your FX and on ES calculator I have also uploaded one video on Lagrange interpolation using Cache FX and on ES calculator. To watch any of my previous videos and my upcoming future videos, please visit my YouTube channel. The link is given in the video description below. So friends, this was my video on inverse interpolation. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like it using the like button below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you will get free updates about my upcoming videos. And please share this video on your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube accounts by sharing the knowledge you may help someone else. I have uploaded many videos on each of the 8 modes of this calculator from mode 1 computational mode to mode 8 vector mode and some videos on this FX 82 MS calculator also. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video.